layout is um <laughs> it's bright <laughs> it's very bright it's from the uh latest collection from amy Ten, uh rise and shine and so i do a lot of layering on this layout um which paper layering i should say um i'm maybe it's more matting i should say um and yeah, so I started off with that um, yellow paper that's from the Amy Tan collection. And this black and white uh, script one is not, it's from Studio Calico um, Brighton Pier. And so I just, I love the graphic look of it so, so much. I'm so in love with it. And I actually regret not picking up more than one of those sheets. So I might have to do a bit more shopping just to get a couple more, couple extra <laughs> I don't know um, any reason to shop so this paper here is from Amy Tan as well and I think all the papers I use other than the black and white print and the um, you'll see I bring in like a pink cardstock are from the Amy Tan collection I just that's what I basically used um, for the entire collection which is it, it's not something I usually do because you guys know I jump around from collection to collection and make, um, you know, my own kind of things work. So, I mean, if colors are very similar in tone, um, I go on ahead and I, and I use what I have because no one, there's no rule in the scrapbooking world that says that you have to stick to one collection and one collection only. Got that, guys? If you like something and it matches, not matchy-matchy, but I mean it coordinates, then use it. Do not feel like you're stuck in a box and you have to use entire collections because you really don't. So I liked this um, pink paper um, and I felt that it gave it that bit of um, extra layering that it needed, but it also... What's the word that I'm looking for? It distinguished the layers because this stripey kind of tribal looking one is really, really busy. And so anything that you put on it kind of blends into, um, you know, it kind of blends in. So I, I needed, I needed some contrast and that's what that pink layer gives me. Well, I feel like it does, even if it's very subtle, that's what it gives me. And so I, like I mentioned, I do a lot of layering or matting on this layout. It's not something I typically do. I think there's like four or five layout um, mats on this picture, but it's not something I typically do because I don't know. I think I'm afraid of, of over layering. I don't know. I need to get out of that box where, you know, just kind of like let free and, and do my, do my thing and not worry about what the layout looks like after it's after it's done it sounds very bad but I mean I still want it to be nice but I think I'm afraid uh, and I stick myself in that box where I'm like ah I'll, you know I'm overly careful I think and so this was a bit of a stretch for me because there is a lot of matting and like if you look right now we're already at layer number uh three or four and I'm not done yet so and I think I matted a couple more times too so one two three four we're at mat number four so yeah so that's that <laughs> and so i'm liking um the yellow but then when i put it against the background that i've created i don't like the way it just the yellow just kind of blends in so i take a sharpie marker there and i just go i carefully go around the edge and just mark up the sides um making sure not to get any on the actual front of the mat so just the sides of the paper and you'll see that once I put it on it gives me that little bit of definition but I still feel like that's not enough so I end up matting it on the pink paper there so it just gives me another layer and it's just a very very thin kind of mat it's not thick at all so it's it's just that that layer there was strictly just to differentiate between um the two yellows and that's its only really purpose so as you can see there i have really nice thick matting i think there's one two three four five different layers wow <laughs> that's a lot for me and there i am gluing and over gluing <laughs> because that's what i do folks that's what i do 
So I stick down my picture and I don't know if it's me. I don't know if it's American Crafts and Amy Tan. Maybe it's me. Maybe this collection of die cuts doesn't go with this. Maybe I was wrong when I bought it. I don't know. But I don't feel like the colors go with the collection properly. I feel like they're so much more muted than the actual papers themselves. Um, does that ever happen to any of you guys? Like you buy the die cuts that you think coordinate with it and then you get them home and you're trying to play with them and you're like, what the heck is happening here? You know, it doesn't even really match. Like the colors are all the same. Like there's the yellows and there's the oranges and, and you know, but that, that green, see, if you see that green leaf there on the bottom right, there's no green in this collection at all. And I'm a little disappointed, I have to say, in like the accent color in this collection is silver, which is really pretty, but it doesn't stand out at all. So you'll see there's silver edging on the camera that I'm popping up there on foam dots. And it's so subtle, like you can barely see it. Uh, at least, you know, I don't know, maybe it's, maybe it's just me, but see that leaf? It doesn't match with anything at all. I don't know. Just not liking it. I'm not feeling it. I just, they're nice. I just wish that the die cuts were, were bit, were brighter in tone. So there I'm pulling up my thickers and I decided I'm going to put down my title before I move forward. Um, I don't know. I start getting a little <laughs> antsy if I don't get my title down or, you know, main elements of my page before I start really decorating because I'm like, oh, I wanted to put that there and I didn't get to. And I always feel like I kind of disappoint myself. So I've sped this up and you're going to see I've cut a chunk out of it because like I say in every video, nobody wants to see anybody put down um, figures. So it ends up, I end up spelling out Pretty Princess. Um, that's actually a nickname that someone that I know has for my daughter. And I just thought it was cute because she's wearing the tutu that I ordered for her for her birthday and it came in the mail and she saw me take it out of the package and she wanted to put it on and I was... I let, I was I was baffled that she understood that that was for her and you know I let her wear it for a little while. So, and in that picture I edited it where just her tutu and the flower um are in color and the rest of the um photo was in black and white. So remember how I mentioned that you can use die cuts or other elements of other collections, you know, if they matched? Well, this just so happened that the pinks and the greens um, were very similar in the Maggie Holmes, um, it might be the flea market collection, I'm not sure, um, and this Amy Tan collection. Like, they coordinated. The pinks were perfect. The, the yellows were perfect. Everything matched perfectly. The only things that were different are the print because the Amy Tan Rise and Shine doesn't have any florals like in the die cuts or anything. It has that weird leaf but it doesn't have any roses like the Maggie Holmes does but the colors are all the same. So I just pulled the, ta the tabs and the labels off and I'm using them. So that's that. So I use um, a border. I use two of them. So there's that skinny um, heart one with the gold um, little hearts on it and I'm using this ticket one and because the silver was so muted it was so subtle I decided it was okay to mix the gold and the silver and I think they look just fine so there's the those border stickers that I use and then I pull out the Teresa Collins um, what collection is this something wonderful I'm not sure and there's a, a black little note there that I end up using. And I try to make that other one work and it just doesn't go. It's just too much. So again, I felt like because of all the black and the heaviness on the left-hand side, uh, I felt like the yellow needed a little bit of contrast. So I just took my Micron pen and I outlined um, the perimeter of the paper of everything so that it all went together. It was an afterthought, but I'm glad I did it because... It needed, it needed that anchor on all of it. So that's just my micron there that I'm using. I ended up writing there that my daughter was uh, 11 months. 
I was thinking of writing something else, but then I'm like, ah, forget it. I don't want to. And here I'm punching a little heart with just a cheapy little punch that I have and using my fine line. Putting down some glue because I felt like that corner just needed a little something, but not, I didn't want it to be overkill. So that's that. I'm putting that down. And now I'm going to pull out my watercolors. And I end up using black. I end up using pink from the watercolor collection. And then I pull out uh, Dilusions, the white linen, which I think is currently my new fave because I've used it on the last two layouts that I've done. Well, this one and um, another one that is processing now. So I'm editing it now. So you won't see it for until next week, I think. No, I'm lying. This is the second one. <laughs> so in the last two layouts, I was right the first time. So I am just using like a hot pink, a black, and I'm going to pull out the dilutions now. And that's pretty much the end of my layout. I don't think I do anything else to the layout. Um, at the end of the video, you'll see the still shots. And that is pretty much it. So I, I thank you guys again like I do in every video because I'm so appreciative of you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for thumbs upping. Thank you so much for subscribing. And we'll see you guys in the next video. So take care for now, guys. Bye.